Are you watching news with me, Meher Sheikh? Let's begin with the top headlines. Chirag Paswan has been elected as the national president of Lok Jan Shakti Party today. Son of Union Minister Ram Vilas Paswan, who formed the party in 2000, is ready to take the charge of the party as the new chief. Speaking about the development, Ram Vilas Paswan said Chirag Paswan was elected unanimously by LPG's national executives. Amid the ongoing negotiation to the power tussle between Shiv Sena and BJP in Maharashtra, Sanjay Rao today ruled out that Shavit Pavar is in the race for the chief minister post. He maintained that the next chief minister of Maharashtra will be from the Shiv Sena camp as he refused to dial back its demand for a rotational CM. In a scathing attack at the UP Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath, the Samajwadi Party Chief Akhilesh Yadav demanded a judicial probe in the Uttar Pradesh Power Corporation Limited PF scam in which the Provident Fund of Employees has been invested in Diman Housing Finance Limited while addressing media in Lucknow. Akhilesh Yadav said that the judicial probe by a sitting judge of either Supreme Court or High Court would reveal the truth behind the scam and demanded the resignation of Yogi Adityanath. A delegation of Congress and NCP leaders are going to meet the Maharashtra governor later today to discuss the agri-crisis and political situation in the state. On Monday, NCP Chief Sharad Pawar met Congress interim President Sonia Gandhi. Pawar said that both parties are keeping their options open. He said NCP and Congress do not have their numbers as of now and the mandate given by the people is for them to sit in opposition. He, however, added that no one can say what will happen in the future. Detained PDP Chief Mehbooba Mufti's daughter has written to the Jammu and Kashmir administration urging them to shift her mother to a place that is better equipped to endure the valley's harsh winter. Iltija Mufti said that she has written repeatedly to the administration about her mother's health condition and if anything happens to her then the government will be responsible. Ahead of the Ayodhya land dispute verdict, BJP has asked its leaders and cadre to conduct themselves properly and not make any comments on the Day of Judgment until comments from the Prime Minister or Misha comes out. The party has had region-wise meetings to instruct its cadre about the same. 138 laborers returned to Bengal from Jammu and Kashmir in the wake of a terror attack in which five laborers from Bengal were killed. The West Bengal government has brought them back, but the laborers say that if they do not find employment, they will be compelled to return to Kashmir. Many of these laborers have returned emoti handed after their employers denied them wage payments. That's all for now. Stay tuned for more updates.